In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four options uh, with the shades of blue. You can see the dark blue at the top and the, the light blue or the sky blue at the bottom. And I've put the option number here within the oval shape. You can add the title and I've given a glossy effect here. And then onto the right side, you can add the icons and the detailed text. I have created one more slide where I have used a, with a white background. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes from the rectangle. Select the rounded corner rectangle draw this much size and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and give some different color and i'm just going to place it here you can see here let me just give maybe this much gap all right or if you want you can increase also not a problem then what i'm going to do is the one area which is on the visible the blue one only i'm going to keep and the rest i'm going to delete it so first select the blue uh, rectangle hold the shift key select the the orange one under format merge shape just select subtract so you end up getting something like this then i'm going to cut from both the ends let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to cut this much part from the right side so let me just duplicate this for my later use. So I'm just going to select this, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, merge shape and subtract. And this side, I'm going to select only, cut only very nominal part here, only maybe this much only. Let me just right mouse click, go to format shape, fill, I make it transparent so you come to know how much I'm cutting. So you can see here, only this much part, I'm going to cut it. So what I'm going to do now, you can see here, let me just select this and this merge shape and subtract. So I end up getting a shape something like this. Then I'm going to add one more rectangle, go to insert shape, select the rectangle. You can see here, shape outline, make it no outline and you have to make sure that the size is matching. So let me just you can see here there's this little gap is there so by holding the alt key i can just make it properly okay so this looks fine for me so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select both this for let me just select this press ctrl d duplicate i'm going to use the other side so now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select both the shapes format more shapes and make it union so it becomes one shape something like this and then i can give any dark color for this okay and here also i'm going to give the same dark color and then i'm just going to put it here you can see here and increase the size like this so let me just zoom it a little bit and you have to make sure that it is properly aligned so it looks something like this all right the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select both these shapes press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and then go to format shape fill i'm going to give some lighter color here and then just put it exactly at the bottom all right and make sure that there's no gap there so and then i'm going to duplicate again then i'm going to give more lighter color you can see here again put it here and make sure that it is properly aligned and last one more duplicate and i'm going to give more lighter color and put it here so you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this now press ctrl a and bring it top all right and if you want you can just add one more option also now i'm going to add one shape here so that it gives more uh, depth look so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill 
here I'm going to use two stops the one stop I'm going to make it black and here the type should be linear and direction I'm going to make it this side and here again I'm going to choose the same black color but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it fully transparent okay and here also I'm going to reduce the transparent something and then I can just move it here till here something like this you can see here I've got this depth then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more a glossy effect here so I'm going to duplicate this press ctrl D bring it here and I'm going to add one more stop so one stop I'm going to give it white color the second stop also I'm going to give a white color and third stop also I'm going to give white color so all white color so the first here the left side I'm going to make it fully transparent and the other also I'm going to make it fully transparent and this one make it a less transparent something like this so you can see here I have got this this effect also now I'm going to add the options for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle shape shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and then I'm going to add one more uh, press ctrl D to duplicate you can see here increase the size again holding the shift key now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape go to home and then select the format painter and click on this so you end up getting a shape something like this and then just increase it a little bit send to back you can see here and I'm just going to place it exactly on top of this move it to the first place all right if it is uh, size is big group this together and then hold the shift key and reduce the size so you can see here this is my option one press ctrl d here i'm just going to put it three and four and make sure that all are aligned properly align left and then go to insert text box i'm going to type option number one here you can see here choose any good font and increase the size you can see here and I'm going to choose the color which is the dark blue and center align you can see here something like this press ctrl D to make it and I'm going to make it and then just align it properly and change the number so this is 4 this is 3 this is 2 again align it properly so that uh, it has to be equally aligned then go to insert text box you can add the title here again white font you can see here if you want you can make it bold increase the size and put it here press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add the title for each uh, this one and then I'm just going to select and go to format align left and on right side you can add the detailed text so go to insert text box and here I'm going to type equals lorem within bracket one again white font reduce the size okay and then just put it here and press ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm just going to add here and again make sure that it is properly aligned and if you want you can keep the background as white or if you want you can just change the background to any other background also depending on your requirement